How to install a Unique Home Designs metal hinge screen door with hinge expander. First, be sure to verify that you have purchased the correct style and size for your application. In addition, a required tool list is located on the front of the package. Carefully cut the tops and sides of the package to remove the plastic covering. Remove plastic and cardboard top piece and discard. Remove hardware from the packaging. Remove the sill expander and set aside. The hardware included comes with handle, easy drill template, door closer, screws, and fasteners. Once the door is fully unpacked, you're ready to begin installation. To determine the swing direction of your door, place it against your entryway door frame. If the hinge channel expander is on the same side as your entryway door handle, remove it and rotate it 180 degrees and reattach. The hinge channel expander should be on the same side as the hinges of your entry door. With the hinge channel expander on the correct side, measure down one inch from the top of the expander and draw a pencil line around the entire expander. Use masking tape to mark the channel where any cutting will be done. Write the word top on the expander channel. Using tin snips or hacksaw, carefully cut around the marked area. Next, measure the height of the door frame opening. In this example, it is 80 inches. Next, subtract 2 and 3 16 inches from the total height. In this case, the height is 80 inches. In this example, the total gives you 77 and 13 16 This is the total length that the hinge expander should be before installing your door. Using this measurement, mark the distance from the top of the expander channel. Use masking tape to mark off the area and write bottom on the tape. Finally, using a hacksaw or tin snips, remove the extra length from the expander channel. Next, with the tape measure, mark the door frame 3 16 of an inch from the top. This is where the top of the hinge expander will be mounted. Position the hinge channel expander on the entryway door frame. Remember to leave a 3 16 inch gap at the top of the door frame. Mark the location of all hinge holes. Pre-drill using a 1 8 inch drill bit and fasten in place with the screws provided. Repeat this step for the other hinges. Once complete, open and close the hinge expander to verify that it clears the top of the opening. With the hinge channel expander attached to the door frame, carefully slide the screen door into the hinge channel as far as it will go. Close the door and adjust the fit and alignment of the door in the frame. Insert shims or spacers between the latch side and top side of the door to help with the alignment. Adjust the door until the gap or reveal is even on all sides. Once satisfied, drive three screws, evenly spaced, through the expander and into the door as shown. Repeat this step on the interior of the screen door. The Easy Drill template takes the guesswork out of correctly aligning the handle and latch mechanism. Attached to the door is shown. The back piece ensures that the interior screen door handle will not interfere with the entryway door handle. When satisfied with position, remove the back portion and close the door firmly. Drill the three template holes using a 5 16 inch drill bit. Assemble the exterior handle, noting that the narrow side of the spring faces towards the outside handle as shown. Attach the interior and exterior pieces of the latch assembly into place with the screws provided. Attach the strike plate to the surface of the entryway door frame. If the door doesn't close completely, use a knife to carefully trace and chisel a recession for the strike plate to sit. Secure the strike plate with two screws. Verify that the door latches. Slide the sill expander onto the door and check the width. It may be necessary to trim the length of the sill expander as shown. Carefully slide the sill expander into place and test for proper fit. Adjust the sill expander until there's a quarter inch gap between the bottom of the sill expander and the threshold. Once satisfied, pre-drill three holes using an eighth inch drill bit. Fasten the sill expander to the screen door with the screws provided. The door closer mounting bracket attaches to the door frame on the hinge side as shown here. When attaching the door closer mounting bracket, the pinhole on the mounting bracket should be three quarters of an inch behind the inside of the screen door. Mark the position of the mounting bracket. Pre-drill and mount with the screws provided. Place the stopper on the door closer shaft. Attach the door closer cylinder with the short pin provided. Use a screwdriver to pry the pin apart. This will ensure the door closer will not come off. Attach the inside bracket to the door closer cylinder with the long pin provided. From the inside, close the door and mark where the screws will be drilled. Attach the bracket with the screw in the oblong hole and test the door to see if it closes properly. If not, adjust the door closer using the width of the oblong hole. Retighten the screw and try again. 
Once satisfied, attach the other screw to secure the bracket. And that's all there is to installing your own metal hinge screen door with Hinge Expander by Unique Home Designs. Thank you for visiting HelpMeInstallIt.com.